So for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on other troubleshooters. And then you want to find Windows Update and then click on Run. And then it will detect the problems that come up. If any problem is detected, then you can resolve it. For the next step, we're going to head over to search again and then type in services. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on any service, then click on W on our keyboard, which will take us down. And then we're going to look for Windows Update. We're going to double click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Stop. And then click on OK. Next, we're going to scroll up until we find Update Orchestrator Service. We're going to do the same thing, so we're going to stop it as well. But don't worry, guys, we're going to enable it again after. Next, we're going to head over to Search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on this PC and then click on your C drive and then click on Windows. Then we're going to scroll down until we find software distribution. Here it is. You want to delete this folder, but don't worry. We're going to get it back afterwards. It's completely safe. So once you delete this folder, I'm not going to do it because it works for me. You want to right click on your recycle bin and then click on empty recycle bin. Once you do all of that, you want to head back into services and then click on Windows update. Then you want to enable it again. So start it. And then you want to start the other one as well. You want to start up update orchestrator service. Now once you do everything in this video, restart your computer, then the problem should be fixed. 